Welcome to Auto Elysium. I'm Scott Anderson, and when I started this channel, I planned on it being primarily about cars. Well, the Colorado winter slowed me down, followed by COVID, and I just happened to have hundreds of vintage cameras donated to me. So today we're going to unbox hundreds of vintage cameras. I'm going to break this up into different videos. We're going to go box by box. And the first one we're going to start with is this little one, which I'm sure is full of gems. These cameras were donated to me by my dad. He collected these from about the mid 60s through the mid 80s. Um, I thought he only had a couple of boxes of them and when I got to his house and picked it up I had to fill the entire back of my Mercedes station wagon just to get him home. I mean seat down and everything. So we have probably hundreds of cameras and most of them I don't even know what they are. So to begin with let's start unboxing this first box and let's see what kind of gems we have in store. All right, let's start grabbing cameras and see what we got. All right, first, I see what looks like EKC. I'm betting we got a Kodak. It is an Autograph Junior, and it's way cool. Use autographic film. These have a little flap here I know about, and honestly, this is all relatively new to me. Somehow that's gonna flap that'll open up so you can sign the film and then this should come out but pretty cool looks like it's in pretty decent shape and honestly i gotta learn all about these cameras but it looks like it's pretty good shape for something turn of the century pretty cool old camera next up is something that's a way bigger not sure what it is right off. Still not sure what it is. It looks like that autograph just way bigger. Um, I don't see the autograph portion of it. Oh, and it's a Kodak right there. Uh, 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 oh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. All right. So I'm not just going to pull on stuff until I figure out how these work, but we've got a really nice, beautiful Kodak camera here. Stunning. I am noticing all of these old leather cases aren't holding up, but considering these are probably close to 100 years old, I guess they look pretty good. We got another one. Same kind of deal. Ah, oh, that's actually way cool. Check out that little lever to unleash, unlatch the hook. Way, way cool. Looks like a Kodak, but I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how all of these works. I am not a vintage camera expert. I'm really decent with digital photography. Don't mind this setup. This is all because we have no room. But yeah, this old film stuff, I really don't know much about it. But we're going to learn. And that's the fun part, right? We've got tons of cameras to play with and learn with. So pretty cool. I'm guessing it's another Kodak foldout, but I sure don't see the branding. So it could be anything, to be honest. All right, what is this? Agfa. Cool. I haven't seen anything Agfa in a long, long time. All right, let's take that out. The case on this Agfa looks really nice. I'm guessing this is significantly newer, but still, I don't know. What is that going to be? 40s, 50s. Um, Agfa. Cool. Made in New York, USA. I'm going to guess this is going to fold out when I figure out how to use it. But look at that. It's in beautiful condition. That looks fantastic. Look at that thing. And the case is really nice. Oh, what's this? 
Major Anderson. Sun, he's got his exposures written on here. F116, overcast, F100, or sorry, 1 100th at F11, overcast, 1 100th at F8. Major Anderson. This is likely not a family member. I am not familiar with any Andersons that were in the military. At least not at the rank of major. My grandfather was in the Air Force, but nowhere near a major. Um, yeah, he was a flight officer. He was a B-17 pilot during the Second World War. Pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm having so much fun doing this. This is just, I'm like shaking. It's so cool to go through all this old stuff. What do we got here? Open while winding. It's an old Kodak. That's popping up. I bet you that's my viewfinder. Uh, <laughs> I love it. It's so low tech, but compared to some of the old film viewfinders where the glass or the plastic gets um, messed up, that's horrible. But the camera itself is in really nice condition. We got a little lever, it looks like, right there, maybe. Got a little button there. We go, look at that. Oh, look at that beauty. Look, you there. Stunning. Look at that. What do we got? F6.3. Not a low light monster, but hey, look how cool and what great condition. I mean, God, it looks perfect. Look at that thing. All right. Now, how do we fold it back up? Oh, oh look at that. We're firing photos off. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at my viewfinder. Oh, that's awesome. I can't see Jack out of it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. But how cool, it's in beautiful condition. The case is really nice. You still got nice velvet there. What a beautiful thing. All right, got another one. All right, here's another Kodak. Number three, folding pocket. Pocket, they must have really Big pockets back in the day. I don't know. That's not going in my pocket. Yeah, another same kind of deal as what we were looking at before. This should fold out. Uh, I'm sure it's nice and simple, and I'm sure you real camera guys are laughing at me right now. There we go. There's this. So same kind of deal. This will extend out, but we're not going to mess with that. We'll take our time, figure it out. No need to break stuff piece of the old strap is with it. That looks like for there. I love that they saved this old leather. I don't think there's anything I can do with it, but you know, 100 year old Kodak script, pretty cool. I'm a huge Kodak fanboy. Um, I worked at Kodak from 2002, 2001, something like that, to 2011, one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. Yeah, I'm just a Kodak fanboy. Um, this old stuff is cool though. Oh, what's this? All right, well, we got a box. The box is super rough on it, but, oh, we got another box. We got a box within a box. Oh, and it's another Kodak. Oh, we got a book. Look at that. Oda Kodak Autographic Junior with a box, got a little camcorder set up here so you guys can kind of see what we're doing. Sure have, oh, oh yeah, 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 check out, we got the stylus. Seems like we always lose these styluses with these autographs. Um, yeah, beautiful, looky there. So same kind of deal, I gotta figure out the mechanism that opens these out. I'm not gonna do that on camera. Look at all these patents, the last one is 1917. So I think it's fair to say that this camera here is 100 years old. 
which I think is just the coolest. There, just like that. And we even got the box. I don't know. I probably won't look this good at 100 years old. There we go. Let's see what else we got here. Kind of a, I'm gonna guess 60 style Instamatic. Beyond six feet, two to six feet. So this is kind of like a focus setting, I guess. There's your thing, shutter. Very cool. I'm gonna guess this is 35 mil. Yeah, X35 Instamatic Kodak. You can see this wasn't an expensive camera back in the day, but it's it's cool. Like something like that on a shelf just showing off. Um, it seems to be just dusty. I think it's actually in really good shape. It's just dusty. We can fix dust. Let's see what else we got in here. We got neck straps. They don't look anything too great. Check this out though. Instagraphic 1A autobiographic Kodak Junior. This must be part of that box. So we'll save that because that's cool. Okay, so there's the first box done. We've got plenty more to do. So I'm gonna stop this video now and we're gonna do a brand new one on the second box.